Hello students, I am Manish Gupta and we are learning here the kinematics. This is the third lesson of kinematics and in this lesson we are going to talk about free fall. So uh, students, uh, if you are going to release something, it's coming downward with and continuously you will see its velocity is increasing. So what happens, how gravity affect the motion of an object? So near the earth's surface there is constant acceleration of gravity that is 9.8 meter per second square right and in last lesson we talked about if we have constant acceleration we have also five kinematic equations if you are going to throw something up you will see it's going at some height and then its velocity becomes zero and then again coming back so because of this gravitational acceleration what's happening when it's going up acceleration is acting downward its velocity is becoming zero at uh, at some height after reaching some height and then again gravity is just pulling it down right so when it's going up it's retarding when it's coming down it's accelerating let's take an example and then analyze the motion a camera falls off a cliff of height h. Let's, this is the cliff of height h and camera is falling from here. Determine the time it takes to hit the ground if up is the positive direction. So students, we have to take the upward as positive direction and to apply the equations, those in the, uh, those equations, if you remember, we have initial velocity, final velocity that involves the direction and also displacement involves the direction. So you have to determine, take a direction positive so other will be negative. And those equations are apply for one dimensional motion. So here if something is going to fall from some height to this ground, it's a case of one dimensional motion. So this is the initial situation. So we can write the, this is the initial velocity. And when it's going to just collide the coolies, uh, this ground, its velocity assume that Vf. And a constant acceleration downward, G is acting on it, right? And displacement, if you will see, displacement will be this initial situation to this final position delta Y. Here you will see, we have to take upward direction as positive, right? So delta y will be minus h. Vi, Vf, A, delta y and t. Here we are taking motion along the vertical direction. So instead of writing delta x, we are writing delta y. So if you'll see initial velocity, we have zero. And final velocity, we have to calculate. And A is the g minus g meter per second square and delta y is delta y is minus h the question is we have to determine the time how much time it will take to hit the ground so students our unknown is this right it haven't asked about final velocity but we can also calculate but here our unknown is time so we have to apply no final velocity equation no final velocity equation that means delta x equals vit plus half at square here we are going to write delta y equals for vertical direction delta y equals v i t plus half a t square.